Hello guys, welcome to BioEd. I am Aman and welcoming you to a new video tutorial on cells of the immune system. This is going to be the part 3 of the cells of the immune system and in the part 1st of the immune uh, cells of the immune system we have discussed about phagocytes and mononuclear phagocytes. In the second part we have discussed about granulocytes and their various different classifications and how they function. You can see the, the links uh, on the top or left side in the video and this is going to be the part 3rd of the cells of the immune system. In this video we will be discussing about antigen presenting cells, their classification and what is their roles and function. So before we get this started do make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications that you don't miss any videos in the near future. So now let's start the video. So guys now let us discuss about antigen presenting cells also known as APCs. So why are they called as antigen presenting cells? As the name suggests, they do the process, they do the function of presenting the antigens to other cells, that is the cells of the adaptive immune system. So what they basically do is, they take and capture the antigen, process the antigen in themselves, in their body, and then they present it on their surface with a chemical uh, protein complex known as the MHC. So what they do, they capture the antigen, and then they display these antigens on their surface to the T lymphocytes and they have the MHC2 complex on their surface. So what does MHC2 stand for? MHC2 stands for Major Histocompatibility Complex Type 2. So we'll be discussing about uh, MHC uh, uh, complexes in details in another videos. But now for now, if you see the diagram, it is a very uh, simple diagram that I'm going to show you. So basically, this is the whole uh, diagram I, I can show. It is of a APC. So what really happens is this is an antigen. This blue color is an antigen. And when this antigen is engulfed by an antigen presenting cell, it is engulfed and it is processed. It is processed. It is bro broken down into various small parts. And then these small parts come and attach on the MHC complexes that are present in the cell. This red colored as you can see is the MHC complex. On this these processed antigens come and then these go to the surface and uh, present these antigens on their surface. That's why they are known as antigen presenting cells because they take the antigen process themselves combine it with the MHC2 complexes and then present them on their surface so that these T cells, these T lymphocytes, the cells of the immune system, they can come and recognize this and uh, make a interaction and bond and thus start the adaptive immune response. So this was all the overview of the adaptive immune system. Now we will discuss about the different types of the uh, APCs. So the three different types of antigen presenting cells are the first are macrophages, the second are dendritic cells and the third are B cells. These are the three major classifications of the antigen presenting cells. So the macrophages we have discussed them in the previous video. You can find the link on the top or on the left side. We will discuss about dendritic cells in this video and B cells we will be discussing about B cells and the lymphocytes in the next videos. So now let us talk about dendritic cells. So now let us discuss about dendritic cells. So these dendritic cells are the most important antigen presenting cells and they stimulate the NAV T lymphocytes. So what does NAV mean? NAV T lymphocytes are those T lymphocytes which have been produced in our body but have never encountered an infection. That is, they are just new and they haven't encountered any infection. So these dendritic cells help in stimulating those NAV T lymphocytes. We'll uh, see about that in uh, just a few minutes. And these dendritic cells links the innate and adaptive immune system. So what happens, this is a basic diagram you can see of a dendritic cell. So what really happens is <coughs> these dendritic cells recognize by PRRs on their surface, they recognize the uh, microbe and they engulf it. They have the phagocytic activity. They can phagocytose that is engulf and break down the pathogen in themselves that they engulf and break down the pathogen in small peptides in small parts. And then they present these peptides on their surface with the help of MHC2 complex. 
these uh, antigens that are present on their surface are recognized by T cells. These T cells, these T cells are the cells of the adaptive immune <laughs> system. So that's how it links the innate and adaptive immune system because when the innate immune system is not uh, not able to handle the infection these dendritic cells comes into play they take the antigen they process it and they present it on the surface and then they uh, call the t lymphocytes what they also do is they secrete some signals in the form of cytokines these you can see cytokines are the uh, signals uh, that they secrete in the bloodstream and the area near about them so uh, by the help of these signals other cells and other T cells and other cells in the near vicinity will come at that place and come and check why it is getting wrong and why is there any infection and they will come and try to kill that pathogen and try to remove that infection. <coughs> so this was all about uh, dendritic cells. Uh, this is the basic diagram of the dendritic cells and they have uh, long finger like projections and have phagocytic activity and they are widely distributed in other lymphoid tissues and mucosal epithelia and various other different parts. So guys, if you like the video, please drop a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you get the latest updates on this channel. And also do comment so that uh, this becomes a really interactive video and I'll also appreciate your feedback. So in the next video, we'll be discussing about lymphocytes and their various different types. So meet you there. Bye bye.